Guys, uh, I just wanted to go ahead and make this video for you. I do have some things that I want to show you about Light Lab 4. I'm sorry that I had to leave today, uh, but I don't want to leave you hanging tonight when you're going through your studying. So I wanted to go ahead and make this video so that I could show you some of the things that I wasn't able to show you today in class. Uh, or if you were here first and second period and you got to see this stuff, then good, then this will be just a great review for you. But I wanted to go ahead and show you this section right here. <clears throat> when you were doing Light Lab 4, you know, we were changing the distance away from the light source, okay? And this is what the data should actually look like right here. Now, you're going to have a bunch of different answers and for a lot of different reasons, but mostly just because there's so many sources of air in this experimentation. You know, it could be the card was tilted a little bit to the one side. It could be the fact that the hole that the light was shining through, through the years that it has been used, just isn't the right size that it should be anymore. So your numbers are going to be different. Don't worry about changing the numbers. The thing that I want you to see is the pattern here. As we get further and further away from the source of light, you know, we started at 10, then we went to 20 centimeters, then 30, then 40, then 50. As we got further and further away, what ended up happening was that the area that the light covered ended up being much larger. Okay, so the distance increase the area that the light covered also increases, and I want to give you a clue as to predict what would be the next uh, what would be the next numbers that would go here. Okay, so here's your clue. You can see right here at 20 centimeters, if you take two and you square it, two squared will give you four. Three and square it, three squared will give you nine. Four. 4 squared will give you 16, and 5, 5 squared will give you 25. Now that's, I'm not going to go into the exact mathematics behind this. There is a mathematical relationship that you have been reading about that you did on Quizlet. It's called the inverse square law. I'm not going to go into the exact math behind that, but you know that when you see this first number, whatever it is, as long as you square it, you are going to end up with the correct area of light that it should cover. So if I were to give you 60 centimeters distance from light, the answer that would go here would be 36. And we see that right here. Okay, this is an old lab, so don't worry about this one. You're not going to need to know this one. But if I had 60, it would be 36, because 6 squared is 36. 70, 7 squared would be 49. 80, 8 squared is 64. So you can see the, the pattern there. Now the other thing that I want to focus on, and I'm, I'm going to pull it over to you now, as long as I can get the right thing for you to see I want to make sure that I give you the right thing is right here I want to show I want to share this with you and this is an article that we're probably gonna read about light and distance but I wanted to go ahead and show this to you okay so we can see check this out that as a light bulb light spreads out in all directions it goes in a straight line but it spreads out in all directions notice how every single time the light gets a little bit further what happens to the brightness it gets dimmer. It covers a larger area and it gets dimmer. Okay, so as the light goes further and further from the source, the light covers a bigger space, just like we see here, a little bit further away, bigger, bigger, but also more dim. Okay, and that's why when we talk about stars, we don't really see, uh, we don't really see how bright they are. You know, we've been talking in class about how stars that are even brighter than the sun, we don't really, they don't light up our nighttime sky because they lose that brightness over the space, over the distance that they have to go. Light spreads out. Okay, light spreads out. As it gets further and further away from a source, it spreads out and loses its brightness. Okay, um, guys, tonight I want to show you a couple other things on Canvas real quick. Um, this is what your canvas should look like or parts of it. Uh, again, the test hasn't been made available to you yet, but the study guide is there. The key is there. I give you this key because I want you to go back and compare your answers. Uh, and that way, if you compare your answers and you, and you see that you don't understand it, you can always send me an email tonight. Uh, and then tomorrow as well, if you see it, I'm going to give you a couple minutes in the beginning of class to study. And if you're like, I don't understand this, you can always come in tomorrow and ask me for help before we take that test. So go ahead and please take advantage of this. Um, and you guys let me know if you have any questions tonight while you're studying. All right, have a good night.